Alright! Follow me! Oh, we all go once, not one at a time? Yeah, the group's moving. Oh, we can all look. <clears throat> can I attack with... Useless? Is he part of your... Package? Uh, yeah, I mean... Just a combo deal? I keep all of my spells in him. Yes. It's a witch thing. Alright, who wants to go first? One particularly brave looking figure goes, ME! He's actually oh, quite yeah, there big. are other people. Walks up to the guy. To be honest, he has, like, the height advantage here. He's actually looming over. And pulls from his back a massive hammer. <clears throat> It is not no. Clancy. It, no, is it? And I thought about the sentence. Does it smell like fresh bread in here suddenly? <laughs> no. Smirk. Some fresh buns. No. Smirking, the guy charges, swings his hammer down, only for the sergeant to. Sidestep it, twist round, and whack the uh, sword still in his scabbard against his hand, making him drop the hammer. Then just looks at the guy and goes, Really? Don't telegraph your attacks, you idiot. Alright, anyone else? Um, sure, I'll, I'll give it a go. <laughs> Show us what you can do, Water Lady. I can't sleep. <laughs> What's the save? Uh, int plus ten. Yeah. Or no, wait, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, it's int plus ten. So uh, which level? What is my int bonus? Um, you are probably either 14 or 15. No. <laughs> As in the DC total. It's either 18 or 20, probably. Anywhere in between. Wait, what? Your int score is probably anywhere between 18 or uh, 18 and 20. I mean, my int is 19. Yeah. That's so, plus 4. So the DC will 14. 14. Okay. Roll it. We'll save. I'm going to get my ass booked. And he goes down. Yeah! Could've I'm kicking him in the nuts. Good ground. <laughs> Coup de gras to the nuts. He can't review your uh, ability because he's asleep. Well, yeah, but no, we pass if he dies. Or I could Undyne's curse him <laughs> and kill him right now. <laughs> do not do I, that. I, I won't. I will coup de gras him to the nuts. Ah! Okay, so you are, you are going to kill him in that case. <laughs> no, it's a non-lethal coup de gras. Ah! Destroying his soul. Christ, I hate testing casters. And I'm going to sick useless on him. Ah! Useless will attempt to cuddle him. Oh. <laughs> ah! Really <laughs> aggressively. Snapping his neck. <laughs> <laughs> the man stumbles back yeah, up and go goes... useless! Go! Okay. That was pretty good. Woo! Ah, uh, why do they send me when they know there's going to be casters? Ah! Uh. Ah! Uh. Casters then in common? I do also have a crossbow, so I could have shot him while he was on the floor. Um, I've waited around so long, this is boring. Go beagle! <laughs> Alright, little man. Go right ahead. Alright! Um, you're... I don't think he's evil, Al. You're the kid I'll from the, uh, church, aren't you? Pardon? I've seen, your I've seen the files of everyone who was meant to gather. I see. Ah, church boy, eh? Well, I... Yes, but... Alright. That's the point. Go on. Yeah. Hang on, I'm gonna get closer. One more. Yeah, you have to reach. You charge in, and... He actually has to swing his blade to deflect the blow. 
as he knocks Ooh. your lance uh, down a little bit. It is. He goes, <laughs> All right. It's a little parry for Good charge. They definitely trained you properly. All right. Good effort. Next. What a L useless is typing. <laughs> I'm going to poison Amazing. my dagger while walking up. Hey! Right. And... Hit him. What? <laughs> That's not good enough. <laughs> not sneaky. Uh, not that sneaky. You strike, but he already sort of worked out what you were doing and just sort of sidestepped and pushed you to the side a little. <laughs> Okay, I can see you got skill, but you got to do something about that confidence. Yeah, I'm not one for attacking people directly. Like, you just I, need I just to... I just walk. <laughs> uh, well, he'll learn soon enough. Right, anyone else? Anyone getting cold feet? How is that author talking? <coughs> It's my turn now. If you want it to be. He speaks. What can you do, mysterious figure? Wait, mysterious, you must be... Ah, that one. <laughs> Jesus. Is that a touch AC attack, or...? Yes. Oh! What is the radius of that? I think it's a splash. It's a splash, so... so it's... Okay. I never know how splash weapons exactly work. Okay! Artillery support! Right! Ow! Now we just take a step back. Have you considered giving bombs to the bird? Not bad. That would be an interesting idea. Not bit bombing. Alright. about the otter? Anybody um, next? I, I am going to need to walk to a little otter. over this way. I don't want to be caught in my own spell. I can step back if you Ah, uh, he is going to hide That would be useful. Bush. Although, oh, there is about oh. good. Alright, so really long good. range. What you got? I'm going to cast Entangle on him. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's the, uh, save? What's the DC 15. Is it reflex? It's partial. Okay. It's a 40 radius spread, god. <laughs> That's, um, that's... Oh, I can be very far back. He does, he does pass his save. Oh god, I forgot how fast my bird can fly. Shit. I'm an old companion. Uh, rock, 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 rock. Rock. Uh, 80 feet. Sweet! Bird is going to fly in and attack as well. Okay. I mean, it could have charged 160 feet, so that, or double, so it wouldn't matter. Unleash the burb. I don't remember how natural attacks work, so it's just going to hit with a bite. Which Meteor right bite! <laughs> he does not find much trouble in deflecting your bird. But he does barely manage... Well, like, he obviously has to deal with the entanglement, even if he passed a save. It's all going a bit awkward. It's like, ah! Right, can you get rid of this so, so everyone else can have a go? She dispels the entanglement. Good. Excellent work. All right, next! He proceeds to run through everyone else, some of whom actually manage to hit him, some just get completely owned by him, fail, whatever. But in the end, like, he starts saying who... He points at a few people, says, you're out, go. Fortunately, none of these are your party members. Oh, convenient. That is fortunate. 
Alright. So the point of that was not just to see how you attack. Or how strong you were. It was to see how you think. See. The uh, young lady over there. The one who asks all the questions. Um, oh, he blue. raises her hand. Yes. The blue one or the blue one? Are you trying to be clever? I am clever. <laughs> don't have to try. She... Clearly... I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Crown of Madness. Her powers clearly focus to... on incapacitating. She doesn't think about brute attacking, like some casters do. Similarly, for the miss with the bird. But on the other hand, she thought very tactically. She thought how to disable a melee user and how to best use her bird. Is that a rock? I think that's a rock. As this a fighter. is my pet rock. Those two are valuable because of their thinking. Now, the tiny one, that big guy, and the mysterious cloaked man over there. He's not pointing at you, by the way, puppet. All proved their martial ability. They knew where their strengths were, and they knew it there in a frontal attack. And they showed the skill. Even making me having to block the blows or hitting me. Obviously, we have the artillery users, who are the blunt force casters, who had to impress me with that damage. And finally, the poor unfortunate sods, who clearly aren't suited to attack what you're there for. We need all types. That's why we work in squads. Now, all of you have been approved to board our airships. We will be taking you to our home base, where you will all be caught, separated into squads and quartered. In quarters, not the corporal punishment. I was about to say. I knew you were, that's why I had to feel, had to clarify. A bit harsh. Yes, tough. This is your last chance to back out. Any takers? No? Alright. Oh, he's going to uh, quickly converse with um, Useless. And then say, no, oh, I'm good. Uh, anyone else find that disturbing? Right. Airships will be landing about 500 meters north of here. If you've not got everything, go get everything and meet me there. Oh, I left a corpse in the outhouse. I should take care of that. Well. <laughs> Can you tell us why there's a corpse in the outhouse? I put it there to mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> it's working. <laughs> I'll be back after I go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Not wanting to cause trouble, uh, he will just shove that down into the... Uh... <laughs> just... Privy pit. Push it down. <laughs> Something yeah. will take care of it. <laughs> the crocodiles will. Hack it apart with the poop knife. I. The successful crowd of applicants look quite happy with themselves, despite really just showing that they can hit a guy. You will notice that, basically, there are very few casters. Most people try to use martial abilities. And other than that, you're surprised at the number of people he let through. Yeah. So how many people do you think will be returning later today? <laughs> Who do you ask that to? The surgeon. Honestly, I don't think many people leave once they get to the ship. 
but we'll see. You can quit any time you want, but you forfeit anything you've earned. Is there anything anyone else wants to ask, or do we just want to travel? I, uh, I'm ready. Is there room at the uh, prow of the ship? It's not landed yet. Oh. Wait, is there room at the prow of the ship? There will Can be. Can I see? Yes. Yeah. Well, then I will attempt to do the I'm king of the world thing Titanic. with useless. Yeah, Titanic. Ugh. Cool. As you wait, a smallish airship arrives and lands. The airship, as most airships are in this uh, world, are no longer balloon lifted. They are now magic powered. Which means they're now often made of metal instead of wood. Much like the great cities, they're also probably the only safe way to travel, as traveling by land tends to result in getting attacked by horrifying beasts. And there were not enough soldiers to clear the entire continent. The airship board is small, it's enough to carry basically everyone but no one else. Like, it's clearly just for transporting troops, and it lifts off. The journey itself takes about an hour. And you, as you get closer, the sergeant beckons you to look out the windows. It says, look out at uh, the front. And coming into sight in the clouds... A giant floating fortress appears in sight. Huh, you like going all out with your new recruits, don't you? Welcome to HQ. For the next two called? years, dealers run. Don't ask. We have to keep the name when we want it. Oh. They got a real gambling motif going on here. Stupid. Why if you want it, why are these? If you want it, why did you keep the name? Was that actually keep the water? Uh, one question at a time, please. No, all three at once. You get answered last. <sighs> I did ask last. All right, first question. What was it? No plants. Why are there no plants? <laughs> right. Well, there are, just not on the outside. You should consider putting some on the outside. Oh, no, they wouldn't survive. Also, we'd have to have exposed decks, and that's bad. Like, it's very cold up there. Exposed what? Decks. I suppose if it is that cold, then you might suffer from deck shrinkage. How did you qualify? Uh, because I took you down like a punk. I can't actually argue with that. Next question. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yes, you. <good> for... <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> you want it? Why did you keep the name? Totally the the possession of the uh, flying fortress was the was passed on to you. You can change it to whatever you want. You could call a big castle thingy in the air, and nobody would question it, because it's yours. No, like, when we got it, there's contracts involved, and the owners are nostalgic, and the leaders are nostalgic. It's weird. Interesting fact, though, we uh, won it from the Imperial Navy. Huh. How'd you win it? How'd you win any military fortress? Um... A lot of booze and a long night of gambling. I don't I'm... think that's quite what he meant. Uh, did you kill the Imperial Navy? 
people take it because that doesn't sound right well to be precise we were hired by the imperial navy to liberate it from a bunch of mutineers and then we just liberated it into our control hmm. Uh, so is there no bad feelings that they may come to liberate it again? Oh, they can try, but we they have enough contracts with us that neither of us really wants to piss us off much more the other off more. It's a fine balancing game. And final question. Uh, Where do you keep the water? In storage tanks. How do you collect the water? It goes through pipes. Are Where we are allowed pipes? to swim in the water? I don't think anyone's asked me that. Well, I just did. I don't know. Ask Ops. Maybe they know something I don't. As Where the do the pipes get the water from? The storage tanks. Wait, 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 wait. But where do the storage tanks get the water from? We fill them up. Where from? Shipments. I feel you know what my next question is going to be. I feel like I'm going to make you answer it anyway. Where, where do the shipments come from? <laughs> well, where do you think? Uh, the water from on the, the ocean. Land. Same place the city's water comes from. The sky? But the sky I is where don't... we are. I so hope none of you are put in my group. I and yet I still get the feeling we will be. <laughs> you know, fate is cruel sometimes. <laughs> the ship comes into dock and you all arrive in a hangar. Now, very nice. You all disembark. There's plenty of space. This place is clearly built to actually land larger craft. So how big a craft do you have? Hmm? Well, the one we just arrived in doesn't seem like it's made for this hangar. Oh, right. Yeah, no. Like, we got, we got a couple of full-on warships. They can't land in here though, they're too big. They can dock. Will we ever get to drive them? No! Maybe. Uh, ooh. We'll see about that. Depends what you want to do, really. I can pilot a regular boat. Does, That's did really. Did transfer? No. Very kind well? <laughs> a it's little a good bit. Good starting place, though, right? I, I mean, you probably have a healthy respect for the wind. Yeah. I can't believe I forgot to upload one of the NPCs. It was that was a weird thing to say. Probably was blue. <laughs> of course. Honestly. Unacceptable. This is why I hate all of you. Even me. Really? This specifically is why? This seems like a recent thing. You've hated us for years now. Yeah. We don't know how long this blue thing's been going on for. You know what? You this just you hate me anytime I bring up the word heathen craft. <laughs> now you just need to make heathen craft blue. I don't know if it will double hate it. Right. You are sky mercenaries. So... You all are gathered in front of the hangar. Waiting for you on a small platform is a woman in armor. Is this like flag? Is she blue? No, she is not. Well, the armor color is blue, but oh, she, she's she's blue facing. No, she's <laughs> her armor is stained from the blood of the blue people she's been killing. She is flanked my blood by is two heavily blue armored blue and blue armed blue. looking. Salt Warriors. Oh, they look cool. 
Why do you wear such heavy armor in the sky? The sergeant whaps you on the back of the head briefly and says, Show some respect! I can't sleep! (laughs) You actually? (laughs) No. (laughs) Show some respect! (laughs) He salutes the figure and goes, uh, Introducing High Commander Sykes! Hello! I will salute. Not that I have any need to, but I'm going to do it anyway. He will attempt the salute. Useless will also. Roll (laughs) dex. Please? To see if he succeeded the salute. (laughs) See if you don't poke yourself in the eye. Well, me too. Pretty fail, pretty fail. Um, Just a second, for some reason I've accidentally utilized my dex. (laughs) Okay. Just a sec, I need to give myself a random buff because I can't work out why this penalty is on. Okay. There. <laughs> you you <laughs> make a horribly bastardized attempt at a salute. Okay, and one for useless as well. Uh, 1d20. Well, uh... Does the hangar look clean? Well, Sorry. Useless is fucking carrying the salute game for you here. Whoa. Excellent. Good job, Useless. So, the figure... shouts, At ease! Welcome, new recruits! I'm glad to have you aboard with us. I am the High Commander. I am in charge of all operations of this band. All orders, all authority ends with me. Is that clear? There are a couple of them. Ma'am. Uh, he will begin to raise her hand and think better of it. The sergeant glares at you when he sees your hand moving. You know that the material component for sleep is a handful of sand. So it is literally hurl sand in his eyes. Uh, I just wish to assure you, you've all made a fantastic choice joining us. And I look forward to both working with you and shaping you into what you were meant to be. Yeah, I reach have great dental coverage. Right? I've been concerned about this. The sergeant overbite. declares at both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give him a shit eating grin. <laughs> I have consulted with Tactical and I have assigned you into your squads. <gasps> she begins to list okay. through a few squads as she names them. Other figures who are all named as sergeants walk in and take some recruits away. As the numbers start to dwindle, Sergeant Collier begins to look more and more nervous. (laughs) Ah, he's going to give him a massive grin. (laughs) Yes, just a shitty grin. Fix gazes and massive grin. Eye contact. (laughs) Everything. Right, squad Collier. You can, uh, if those of you who are listening particularly closely can hear him mutter his breath, oh, please, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so sorry for this man. Oh, he's going to lean in close to him and say, oh, God, yes. <laughs> First off, <Call> me daddy. <laughs> Lunaria Isastis Anua. I'm just imagining going off. Oh, and Meteor. <laughs> He doesn't. He doesn't look upset about that. Maybe that. Doctor Siegfried Klaus von Grimmel. I mean the bird mask. Yeah, sure. Farahi. Um. You can skip. Andima. Thunderflag. Oh, at this one, he grimaces. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, useless is going to uh, cuddle up to him again. After his thrin, is that right? I just that will do, ma'am. The 
Seth. Uh, Logan Dio Demare or Demare? Uh, Demare. 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 Okay. It was him. Step Dio. up to him. Put my put my hand. Yes, it was Dio all along. And we appear to be to missing put one. Put my hand on his shoulder. I'm gonna have a great time together. Collier go. Squad. Uh. Report to your quarters. We will summon you when we have your first mission available. She then continues to read off the other names as Sergeant Collier says, On me! And begins trudging off very depressed towards the exit. <sighs> I'm going to do a proper formal march, or my best approximation thereof, behind him. Dex right. right behind him. Don't really? worry. Jesus Don't worry, Collier. I'm sure well, the team will grow on you just fine. Uh, it's almost as if yes. you were made for this team. <laughs> it's almost like this is the last team you'll ever be in. <laughs> oh, in a good no. way. That's a death flag right there. He walks up the through way, decks, though. lifts, and other places, and finally ends up at a set of double doors. And opens them. And says, These are the squad quarters. Oh, like us? Yes. Wow, this is cool. It's like pick, a boat. Pick up. Where do we enter from? Uh, Probably up, up top. here. Oh, yeah, there. Yeah. Pick someone to share a room with and pick a room. I'll expect to see I you. I like the other blue lady. I would like uh, this one on the right. Yeah. The, I, yeah no, 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 no. That one, that, that door. We're going to have fun. That door is Plus labeled. We have, I, that, we have um, that, fellow that pets. That immediately sounds uncomfortable. <laughs> Please do not really refer sure to me as church boy. Well, I was going to try and find, like, one of those tin bathtubs and just fill it with water. All right. Yeah. They yeah, are two bathtubs, right. by the way. My name is Seth, yes. Oh, right. I yeah, no, useless is going oh. to live in the bathtub. <laughs> So the Seth, bathroom. Let, let me tell you, I'm I'm gonna get you some drinks you've never had before, and it's gonna be fun. Please you... do not go overboard. I am partial to a light drink, but I am no. not a hooligan. I do let not me tell go... you, Logan Diodemare doesn't know the meaning of going overboard. Please say hooligan. <laughs> All right. Often. Uh, Collier walks into his room and goes up to his desk. As, as you're settling in. You all hear briefly through some sort of magic messaging system. Uh, could could Privates Anua and uh, so, Seth please report to my office? Cyrano to their track. So, Seth, should we like ask if we can get a smaller bed for you? I, I am fine with this bed. I can climb onto it, no problem. We can get a stool if you need it. I'm gonna have to correct his pronunciation. <laughs> you know, Seth, you shouldn't let let the surgeon wait. That's some pretty bad manners. It's very <laughs> bad reflection of the emperor. I'm going so... to have a lot of fun correcting you. <laughs> See, I told you we're gonna have a great time in here. <laughs> gonna correct with rips. Sufferable man. The door shuts. So, Meteor, how many spells uh, kept inside you? Kaka! Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't have even thought that spell existed. Ka! Let me try and cast it. Ka! All right. Oh you two. I have summoned yeah. you here because there are certain roles that have to be filled on any squat. And if I'm going to be working with you all, I need reliable people filling them. Ah, I see. <laughs> I feel like I get where you're coming from, <laughs> considering recent party. I have unfortunately not heard or got much information from Von Grimmel. I will speak to him privately later. But... They also need to be willing to speak up. So I've picked you two to fill those roles. Uh, so, 
This is a temporary position. If we find out you are unsuitable, you get moved on to a different position or someone else takes your place. So, as I want to appoint this, uh, I want you two between you to decide who has basically got the position of second in command of the squad after me and which one of you will take the role of advisor and or tactician. Oh. Well, second in command. I, I would recommend second in command has to be able to lead and command the respect of the troops. The tactician has uh, an advisor, whichever, whatever job title you want to call it, has to be confident and basically be able to plot the correct course of action for the squad. Basically, one has the plan, the other implements the plan. It's all the same for my... Well, my you're more likely here. to be up front, aren't you? Yes. I... I was about to suggest possibly me being second in command. That would likely be wise. Very good. Excellent. As part of this... Uh, both of you are responsible for making sure the rest of the squad, there'll be one more member joining later, takes good care of this private area. Oh, Luna raises her hand. Yes, private. Are we allowed to bring more plants into the area? Yes, as long as you don't disrupt it. This is I'm your... Sure. This is your home for two years, potentially. Unless you get moved to another squad or get promoted fir first. Or die. Yes. Not that that's going to happen anytime soon. Start with I that hope. part. Don't just... I'll teach you how to... Oh. I'll make sure that this... Uh, these arrangements stay at a suitable level of clumsiness. I have to keep my facilities quite clean. Excellent. Now, of course, I also wish to remind you, I am in command of this squad. And disobeying an order is grounds potentially for punishment. What's the punishment? Depends on why you disobeyed the order. General disobedience, usually something minor like kitchen duty. General disobedience? Causing trouble. Basically. Ignoring an order... No, I was just saluting him. Ignoring an order on the battlefield can lead to you being dismissed from the organisation. Court-martialed. Understood, sir. This does not mean, however, you have no influence. If you suspect a superior, whether it's me or someone higher ranked, of making bad decisions or deliberately harsh ones, there are channels through which you can properly disobey, let's call it. So you have a complaint box? Sure, let's call it that. If it's from someone else, complain to me. Don't tell the others they can do that. In fact, get them to complain to you, then complain to me. Please. I just can't deal with constant questions. Secondly, if it's me you have a complaint about, I am... Ordered to inform you that the person you'd speak to is Lieutenant Ward, who is the overseer of all new squads. You can basically ask the guides where they are. There's plenty of people in this bloody ship. They'll be able to tell you where they are at any one time. 
Right. I believe someone just put a note through the door. What? I pick it up and hand it to him. <sighs> Why is the note soaking wet? It's a side effect of hanging around with an orchid. Private <laughs> Seth! Could you please go and inform... Just give me a minute. What's the name of it? Ahi? Did she... Private Ahi! Private Andima to you. Uh, Ahi. Private Andima that there is an alchemy facility somewhere else and not to do it in the living room. Oh yeah, there is, isn't there? It wasn't in the living room, it was in the bedroom. Be living area. Can I get this now, sir? Please do. And very good. Rather, no, you are also dismissed. Although, could you fetch uh, Von Grimmel for me? Before I go, it's Anua. Right, uh, Anua. Knock on the door. My apologies. Hello. Private and she will go. Hello. Knock on the I have been ordered to inform you that there are alchemy facilities located elsewhere on the ship. And that they yeah. are not to be done in the living Do court. we know what? The leader dude wants your attention. Very well. Uh, I'm not particularly sure where they are. Uh, mm. It's possibly a question for our leader for the time being. But I'm okay. sure he's happy in telling you to go elsewhere. <laughs> oh, go Seth! Feed clams to my otter. Oh, Seth! Yes? Would Brian Elko count as alchemy? With what, sorry? You know, making some of your own drink. Come I in! I believe any kind of <clears throat> Doesn't? Sweet! Al over alcoholic... I couldn't hear you over the I, other two Excuse me, sir. I Come in! I feel alcoholic no. or chemical or magic in any origin. You wanted to see permitted. me, sir. Yes! Right. Simple issue. I don't know much about your character or history everyone else oh. I observed behaving in the pub you sat there and watched everyone else mm -hmm. so two things first off why are you here what do you want to gain out of this oh my gosh hold on oh no that bird no. I want what everyone else wants. Money. And, on, and a job. Alright. I can work with that. You're, you watch them all. I'd like to hear mm -hmm. your opinions on the rest of your squad. From what you've observed. Well, the Falahi one asks a lot of questions. The... The smaller one is a bit of a fanatic towards the, the uh, Emperor. I believe that is who he worships. The... Oh man, this is reminding me. I really need a drink right now. Anyways. <laughs> The uh, where was I at? Uh, the the Dio one. I have no idea. He is just uh, he seems uh, un uh, unpredictable. In a bit uh, insane, if you would. And the uh, Runarly uh, blah 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 is. Uh, Probably one of the more sane people. Right. Are you going to have any problems working with this bunch? Nope. Good, because I don't want any accidental explosion hits near us in combat. I will be very careful. Don't worry about that. Right. Good. 
Also, I'm just going to put this out here. We're probably going to use you as heavy support. Okay. So... Basically, I just want you to be prepared to hold back in certain situations so that we can use you at other points. Uh, that is why I always carry this around. I'm just going to uh, hold up and show him the cane. Good. Right. I think it's time you all got properly acquainted with each other. Go out and speak to the rest of your fellows. You're not even going to- it's a- it, um, I wanted to show off this sword part, but oh well. I, I already know it's a sword cane. I've seen enough of them. I've got so much paperwork to fill in. You can stop typing it and start talking it now. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm We are having a very important discussion here. <laughs> what did I walk into? Oh, he's introducing oh, ourselves. Oh. oh, he's done? Alright, it's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Coming in! Probably wants to what? Talk to me too. No, 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 I don't even see you else. in here. Oh, Everyone God. else went. It's clearly our turn now. Why yeah. didn't I lock the door? I, I can it's already see the trouble that people are going to call. <laughs> heavy hitter squad. <laughs> so yes, Lieutenant, what did you want to talk about? Also, how do you like your booze? I'm a sergeant and neat. You like your booze neat? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright. So that the bottles don't go everywhere, because, I mean, this place is floating. It probably shifts about a bit. <sighs> Alright. Alright, uh, let's get this over with. You two! Yes. Hello. You have skills. Oh. This is apparent. They do? Yeah. I cast Mud Witch and an ooze through one of the cracks in the floor. Uh, I have quite a few skill points, so yeah. But you're already giving me a sense you're the loose cannons. The unpredictable oh. ones. Um, I'm, I'm a witch, not a cannon. And, in one case, naive. Naive, eh? I mean, I, I think he's a bard. So, this is simple. While you're useful, you get to behave as you need. When an order is given, you follow it. If at any point your actions put any on the squad in jeopardy, I will personally see to it that you don't make it to a dismissal. Okay. I feel this is an unearned dressing down. <laughs> You're very rude. I'm a good eat. I'll be in my room. Clamps the door on the way up. Oh my god. Opens the door again. Root. <laughs> Leaves. Oh my god, I've been given a moody teenager. Yes, I did say this. Right. Ah, hey, did you What's just slam the side? You're dismissed. Okay. He, he uh, did dismiss us. It's fine. When we eventually He's get to our tills of glory and such, how do you wish to be addressed in the songs? You know, I'm open for creative <laughs> input. <laughs> All right, I see you have lots of work to do. I'm so just much finger gunning fun. him as I walk the out of the door backwards. Of rude wanker, Collier. Don't worry. Soon enough, they'll be singing songs of you all over this this place. Oh, that's what I'm afraid of. 